There isn't a course in nursing that teaches you how to be a great nurse, how to have compassion for others, or how to make a difference in a patient's life. You choose a nursing profession because deep within your soul, you were born with a desire to touch the lives of those around you. As nurses, we hold a hand of someone in need. We save lives. We act as a patient advocate and ensure safety to those in our care. We work together to create positive patient outcomes, and as we grow within ourselves, we become leaders to all of those around us. As a nurse, we have the opportunity to heal the heart, mind, soul, and body of our patients, their families, and ourselves. They may forget your name, but they will never forget the way you made them feel. You are here today because you made a decision to be a nurse. You knew you were born to do something greater than yourself. This passion can never be taught, but the knowledge, skills, and attitudes you will learn during your educational journey will begin with a strong foundation in the quality and safety education for nurses, also known as QSIN. What exactly is QSIN, you may ask? QSIN is composed of six competencies, which together form a goal to educate future nurses on ways to enhance quality of care and safety within the healthcare system. Each competency includes proposed targets that are encompassed within three categories of care. These three categories of knowledge, skills, and attitudes will be incorporated into your educational curriculum as you journey through the nursing program at UNLV. What exactly are these competencies? Let's take a peek into the life of a nurse and experience examples firsthand. She has a history of falls. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna implement our fall protocol. Evidence in all the studies have shown that this protocol has, is working to decrease the amount of falls in the facility. Okay, sounds good. All right, Miss Johnson, I want you to call, don't fall. shift assignments for today and I just want to start off by letting you know that corporate came and told us that they were very proud of us because we implemented our safety protocol for falls and um, we actually got our numbers down quite a bit so yes we are down to two on the unit for the past two months so that's awesome great job let's try and hit zero yeah okay. I've been making sure everybody had their yellow socks on and their tags on good good yes yeah, so let's keep that up for sure okay um, also, the flu shot is going to be available in HR, but only on this day, on the 10th, okay? So make sure you get there to get that at 8 a.m. or 8 p.m. And we really want to do that just to make sure that we decrease the incidence of flu going around the hospital, whether it be amongst the staff or amongst the patients. Whenever you plan your care, it's their views they should share, and you recognize the patient's values, then you respect their beliefs, 
and don't give them no grief. And the care is centered around the patient. And by pointing Ooh. out the needs of your patients, they will love to see you assigned as their nurse. Won't worry Ooh. about a thing valued like a gold ring. Cause there's just one thing you gotta do. Gotta do. When you plan for patient-centered care The well the worries just faded away When you plan for patient-centered care The satisfaction is here to stay You respect the least and don't give them no grief You plan the care around the patient today Cause when you plan for patient-centered care well, the worries are faded away. Boom, boom, boom. I'm just an 85-year-old lady waiting to be discharged today, but somebody left my tray table out of reach, but it's okay. Someone left this side rail down for me, so I got it. Sure, all the safety measures were available, but it's up to the nurses and individuals like you make sure that they're implemented and our patients stay safe. You are entering the nursing profession during a time of advancing technology. You will be introduced to safer practices such as scanning wristbands before administering medications, electronically viewing the medication charts, and documenting patient information via computer charting systems. You will have the skills to respond to safety alarms and alerts, use information to monitor outcomes, and coordinate care from different providers such as physical therapy, pharmacy, doctors, and respiratory therapists. You will learn to value technology, appreciate the necessity for continuous learning of these skills, and enjoy demonstrating them when providing patient care. Informatics allows the use of information to manage knowledge, limit error, increase communication, and support decision making in the nursing profession. Let's review the six keys and competencies one more time, just to make sure they are ingrained within your brain. Patient-centered care, teamwork and collaboration, evidence-based practice, quality improvement, safety, and informatics. It may all seem a little overwhelming at first. You may be a little nervous, and you may be thinking to yourself, how am I going to learn all of this? How will I know to make the right decisions in my practice? How will I avoid medication error? Will I know how to therapeutically communicate with patients? What if I document the wrong thing in the computer? What if I make a mistake? What if I don't know something? What if? How will I? Who can help me? Relax. Take a deep breath. You're in good hands. Throughout your journey at UNLV, you will be introduced to everything you need to know about being the best nurse you can be. You will incorporate the cues and competencies within all aspects of your curriculum. You will experience group projects that encourage teamwork and collaboration. Your clinical experience will give you the ability to apply cues and competencies as you gain experience in the hospital setting. You will even have the opportunity to discuss your clinical day and observations for improvement during post-conference at the conclusion of your 8-12 to 12 hour shift. Care plans, care plans, and yes, more care plans. They may seem tedious, but believe it or not, they help you better understand your patient and improve safety and quality of care while you are working in the hospital. And don't worry, hospital and unit orientations are provided every semester to ensure you learn the computer software and safety protocol for your specific unit. Case studies will be reviewed in every class, every semester, yes, every semester, to provide more discussion of safe and quality care. Another great tool used by UNLV is the Sim Center. Here, you will experience realistic simulations in a controlled environment with the use of UNLV's bleeding, breathing, crying, and talking Sim Man. The cues and competencies are incorporated within every simulation. These sessions are followed by debriefing sessions where you will reflect on your performance and gain knowledge that will lead to self-improvement. Throughout the nursing program at UNLV, you will continually be asked to reflect on your clinical practice and patient care. Whether you realize it or not, the cues and competencies are a foundation from which your clinical performance is established. Understanding QCIN is vital to your success as a professional nurse. It will help bridge your transition into professional practice and help you to understand how to provide safe and quality care to your patients. 
At UNLV, you will gain the knowledge, skills, and attitudes necessary to demonstrate each of the QSIN competencies. Think about them as you journey through the nursing program. Allow them to guide you during your practice. And most of all, remember that safe and quality care starts with the desire to do something greater than yourself. You made the decision to be a nurse for a reason. Provide quality care. Ensure safety to the lives of those around you. You will be remembered, if not by your name, then by the way you made your patients feel.